in, in feng shui, a lot of people don't talk about this part of feng shui. They say, ah, this is flying stars, it's double eight, we enhance the wealth. If we enhance the wealth, your problems will disappear. You see, in, in, if you run a business and you know, more sales does not necessarily mean more profits. Correct? Just before we begin, make sure you hit the subscribe button and click on the bell icon to get notified whenever we release new videos. There are five ways, five ways to succeed. So I want to take this down. And if you uh, work on any of these five, you would be able to change the outcome of your whatever goals that you want to achieve. Any one of these can do it, okay? The first one, which is the easiest to do, I think, is to have slightly better luck. That's called good luck. Okay, if you have that flow of energy uh, in your favor, I think in many ways your chi level is higher. Even if bad shit happened to you, you still be able to interpret and see that in a positive way. Okay, and so because you see in a positive way, you learn the lesson and you actually can become better. Now, when we do feng shui, it doesn't mean that you set up your house so that you will have no problems whatsoever for the rest of your life. Yeah, until today we still have problems, right? But we want the problem to be a better problem. Right? Those days when I first started an event, for example, our problem is trying to fill up a hall. Yeah? We only have eight, peop eight students' problem. Today, we have problem of trying to find a bigger hall for 2,000 people. Which problem do you prefer? Right? So, it's a better problem. It's still a problem. Right? Managing logistics was a nightmare. So, this stuff, you still have problems. The question is, can, if you are at a bigger capacity, you have different levels of problems you need to handle. Okay? So, as long as you have the positive elements in your, in your life, you tend to be able to upgrade yourself, go one level higher all the time, and you'll be happier. The ultimate thing that you want to achieve, ultimately, if you have all this, you'll be happy. Okay, not necessarily richer, but definitely happier. All right? So, the first one is luck, right? The second thing uh, is choices, okay? A good life is one that is filled with good choices, good option. Now, what does it mean? If you... In a good family, for example, why is a, uh, uh, you born to a good family? What does it mean to be born to a good family? It's because they give you better choices. Education-wise, they give you better choices, right? Even you start to go to college, already got car, for example, right? Your allowance is higher. The friends that you meet have a certain caliber, for example. So the choices are generally better. You can use feng shui to increase your number of choices. But your number of choices is also dependent on whether you have have the wisdom to identify that they are good choices. This is very important because the, some choices will turn up and then you choose the bad one. How many of you know friends who have met the wrong partner? Right? They met the wrong partner. It's not an intelligent choice. And then they made their choice. Now they're fucked, right? So you want to be able to make the right choice so it actually brings out the best in you. Don't you think so? So to change that, you can create the choice of other people coming into your life, but will you switch or not? That's the problem, right? If you're someone who's in a bad relationship and you activate peach blossom, a third person will come out. Now, are you going to drop this person and go to this? See, that's the question. It's a dilemma. I don't like dilemma. So the first thing you want to do is this side here, find a perfect ending, okay? Not mean don't end that person's life, but... Right? Find peach blossom for this person to go and find another guy, and then you go and find another, another uh, person. It's easier like that, right? So you got to find a, a, a strat strategic move, moment or a, a plan in order to get the outcome that you want. It's easier that way, right? So this is a matter of choices. And of course, um, how to do something, strategies, feng shui formulas. I'm going to tell you how you do that, yeah? And of course, the environment is important. Where you apply feng shui is so important because some places have limited chi flow. Limited energy, okay? Some places are limited, and you gotta understand that. So we gotta work with the limits that we have. For example, you work in an organization, the company doesn't belong to you, limited places you can do something, all right? So that's no choice. You gotta work with what you have. It's not always that you get the perfect environment where you can actually you know, use the, uh, the, the available energy in that, level, in that place, okay? So it's, you wanna imagine environment like a free Wi-Fi signal. Some places have bad signal, correct? There's like zero, right? No, no Wi-Fi signal. Some areas have very high, you know, uh, um, Wi-Fi signal. So you can be there and you get, get the best outcome. It's faster speed. 
So that's environment. And lastly, of course, this is very important. You might want to use your feng shui setup to help you or you learn your partner to understand what sort of skills that you need to learn in order to actually become wealthy and richer. For example, a lot of business people's failure in business is not because of opportunities and choices. Their failure is because they're not very good at running finances, right? They see number, they want to vomit. So how, yeah? You need to be able to see numbers and manage numbers, right? Some people are not good with numbers. How many of you, like me, not good with numbers? Uh, there you go. And then some more business owner. You're a business owner and you're not good with numbers? Big problem, yeah? So now, I know I have an accounting degree. I don't know how I got it. <laughs> I used feng shui along the way and I got my accounting degree. I got a pass. But I, I now know the importance of uh, knowing how to read numbers. I can't, for the life of me, set up uh, the, the accounts, okay? I do know how to read it, and I do know which type of information is important for me to, to see. But I can't prepare a set of accounts, right? So if you don't have someone like that, and you're not good with numbers, what do you think the function you need to apply? You need to apply so that you can attract the right person to help you with that, and the one that you can trust, all right? Sometimes it's not the other person you cannot trust. It's because you have a trust problem. How many of you feel that sometimes deep inside you have a trust problem? You just don't, don't trust anybody, okay? Most wealth structures are like that. How many of you are wealth structures? Yeah, they, they cannot trust anyone, right? Because you think you are the only one who can do it, right now. No one else can do it as good as you. All wealth structures are like that. I'm a wealth structure. How many of you are resource structures? Resource structure, okay. You think too much. You think too much. Now, how many don't know what I'm talking about? Okay. It's all right. It's cool. You get there, right? It's in your chart. Later on, you see resource structure or friend structure, yeah? You get there, right? Slowly. So now you know these five things. Let me go to, uh, to convert this into feng shui language for you. And I have to build this up first, the big picture, the whys and the whats. I haven't ta taught you how yet, okay? This is today, primarily the first part of today, the first part of morning, is why and what. If you don't know the why and what, you're going to learn the how, you won't use any of it, okay? Learn the whys and what's first, okay? So let's go on to this uh, thing, right? In feng shui, we really are going to do just five things. Whatever we want to do, we are only going to do five, one of five things. Either we assess something as good or bad, and then we make a decision, okay? Now, this is important. When, you know, people always say this thing, right? Ah, you need to, yeah, especially, I'm, I'm just saying, now boys and girls say the same thing, but a lot of girls like to do that. They tell their, their husband or their boyfriend, you need to tell me the truth. And only the truth. How many of you have the habit? Love the truth. All right? If you love the truth, listen. Me, guys are like that too. Yeah? You need to be truthful to me. Fine. What do you do with the truth? The truth will set you free. Free to do what? You got to do something with it, right? So if you found out the truth, this person has a third party, what are you going to do? Kill him or kill yourself, right? You got to find, do something. You're not going to do anything, then better you don't need the truth, right? You just pretend nothing's happening, life continues, yeah? It's called one eye closed. So you cannot one eye closed, you found the truth. Truth is painful, you know, because you have to deal with it. That's called assessment, by the way. So when you go and assess your feng shui, and you found out that something is not so good, you gotta take action, right? You gotta decide that you're gonna do something about it. Suppose you're not gonna do something about it, then the best choice is not, not to go and assess, okay? You assess already, but you must do something. If you don't do something, you're more stressed, right? So this is important. But the good thing about feng shui is, most houses, there's at least something you can do about it, right? And it doesn't always involve you changing everything in the house. Sometimes it's just changing the way you use that space, and things will be all right. Okay, so besides assessment, you can use it to diagnose your current problems. For feng shui, you can use it to diagnose whatever is happening to you right now. Why are you having the certain illness? Why is it that this person's got breast cancer? You know, that person has got this, uh, uh, you know, what type of problems? You, if you diagnose it, then maybe you can do something to overcome that problem. All right? Or if you constantly see that you know, you're fearful or something, you lack courage to actually take the next step, you're fearful of taking action, for example, what is the cause of it? If you understand the cause, you might be able to switch that outcome for you, okay? So that's called diagnosis. And you can use feng shui to enhance something. Suppose you are thriving, you're doing really well, 
right? You want to bring that to the next level. Then what do you need to enhance to make, make, make things better? But the problem is people do feng shui, the first thing they do is enhance. I know this because I do uh, annual event. How many of you come to my feng shui and astrology events? Yeah, the, the thing I talk about most is enhancing, right? Because people like to talk, but actually we all don't use it. Right? Yeah? Why? Because enhancement is like that. People think that if I got a problem with business, all I need is more business. How many of you think like that? All I need is more money, and then all my problems in life will go away. It's not true, one, yeah? Because you grow the business or your career, you also grow the problems, right? You see, yeah? Uh, if, if you go to a doctor and you, you actually have a tumor, for example, this is just an example, your tumor, how do you solve the tumor problem? You got to remove the tumor, mark, correct? Will the doctor come and say to you, you know what, I think you have a tumor, the real solution is because you don't have enough weight. Just gain 50 more pounds and you'll be all right. Grow your size. If you grow in size, your problem will disappear. Do you think that's a solution? So you, growing is not the thing, you know. So if you go to your house and start enhancing every sector in your house, what do you think will be the problem? You also grow your problems at the same time, right? You need to eliminate the problem, then enhance. Thank you so much for watching. Please click on the subscribe button for more videos and hit the bell icon to turn on notifications.